Good day everybody, this is Dark Comet and welcome to my channel. I hope you're having a great day so far. Welcome back to Assassin's Creed Valhalla. This is going to be episode number 68 of Eivor's Adventures. In the last episode, we went and drank the potion from Valka the Seer in Raventhorpe, and we had another vision. We show Eivor, who is actually seeing herself through the eyes of Odin, but you see her body, and she's called the Havi, and she controls all the gods in Asgard. We went back and tracked down the wolf, um, who is Finier at a younger age. We also met up with the dwarf in Valdi and asked him to help us craft a chain to bind the wolf for eternity. Uh, we also learned that the builder um, who was building the special force field for Asgard actually finished his job even early and we found out that he actually had deceived everyone and was using the Jotnar from Jotunheim um, which are the arch enemies of Asgard to help build the tower and that he was trying to actually trap the Havi or Eivor. Um, we also found out that Loki was working with him to help bring his son um, the Vinyar the wolf through the portal to get him back into Asgard to be with him. So that's kind of where we left off last episode. And then this episode, we are going to head into Jotunheim because we're going to be looking for the Jotun Huger, which is actually a magic that can help us change form and shift into other um, species. Uh, we're going to try to learn that. We're going to meet up with uh, Loki's wife and we're going to. Uh, ask her how to learn the Jotnar Huger magic. She's going to send us on a quest to track down a few things and then of course there's going to be more deception because this is Jotunheim after all. Um, we're also going to meet up with a lady who's going to help us in Jotunheim and she's going to help us escape a trap. And you're going to really like uh, Jotunheim guys. It's my favorite realm so far. I absolutely love it. It's a land full of magic, illusion, deception, um, the people there are really cool. They really thought out the quest in this um, region very well. Uh, it is such a fun place to go, and I hope you guys enjoy it. Let's go get busy, guys. I have the plan you ask for. It took some effort. Good, good. Thank you, Eivor. Here you are. And be careful. This brew will feel as cold as ice on your lips. Yet, will burn like a fire in your belly.
Jotunheim was the home of the Jotnar, the giants of Nordic myth. It was a frozen, mountainous place steeped in magic and illusion. To the Vikings' mind, the Jotnar represented the forces of chaos that would consume the world during the Ragnarok, the war at the end of time. It was therefore seen as a perilous place for the gods to tread. Like I said, you guys will really love this realm. It's very beautiful. The land of illusion and trying to figure out the tricks with the illusion is actually challenging and quite fun. Hope you guys enjoy it. Jotunheim. I have not set foot in this realm in some time. I must find the witch Angerboda. She knows all that happens here. These woods whisper with Jotnar magic. Not everything is as it seems. Anger both as home was right here when last I visited. It may still be. Survey the area, Sunan. The witch's house. There you are. Illusions. But any obstacle can be overcome if looked at the right way.
Edgar Broda's notes, how they scream when I work on them, the ones that visit me, cries no physical pain could ever evoke, if only I could console them, the white heat will cleanse you, the burning scour you clean, and what is left is purity. What torture it is to see oneself stripped of illusion, to know your depths and heights, to know yourself squalid, insignificant, and wretched. The truth is hard to bear, but I will make them face it. They will all see in the end. You are reckless, Hirokin. Midgard is no crucible for your experiments. No, indeed. It is as a great barn, swollen with vermin, bulging at the gables. You underestimate the humans. You always did. When the end comes, they will outlive us. They are mindless ravagers who will destroy us and inherit the Nine Realms. I cannot allow that. They are capable of more than you know, and I will not help you bring about their ruin. Then you are a fool. Do not trouble to knock or announce yourself. Anger, Boda. I have traveled far to find you. And you are brave to darken my door alone. Where is my lover, the dark fox that slinks between my sheets? Loki has stayed in Asgard to help rebuild the damage from a recent attack. How generous. And entirely unlike him. You used to be much better at lying. I am not Loki's keeper. I have come to understand Jotnar magic, your method for moving Hugar from one body to another. The Mead? You seek the Mead? Hirokin! You have long outstayed your welcome. Then I will take my leave. But remember what I said, Angarboda. You will see things my way in time. The mead she spoke of. Where can I find it? A slip of the tongue. Forget what you heard. Do not play games with me, witch. You would sell any truth for the right price. If one had the means to pay it. There is a root called Hag's Claw. It grows at the bottom of a waterfall to the south, at the forest's edge. Bring me three roots from the place where the red moss thrives. Then we will speak of the mead. I will hold you to it.
the waterfall should be nearby, but I see no sign of it. If I look about, I may yet find a way to see the unseen. This land hides its secrets well, but no secret is safe from me. Both are set to look where the red moss grows. A cavern beneath the lake. This land is savage, but full of marvels. Seals great tendrils reach everywhere in this realm. Where are those cursed roots? smells strange down here. Route. There should be more around. Dank and drear. They say hell is the same. The air 
area smells strange down here. Where are those cursed roots? That will be enough for anger, Boda. I should find my way out. from this root turns my stomach. Huh? 
Letter to a runaway. Chin held. If you make it this far, I have left you a little something to pay your way to Asgard. I pray that you make it. I pray that I do. Freedom or death. The keys to the chest are hidden nearby. You'll need both to open it. They've been searching every foot of this place, but these Jotnar are so damn tall, they never think to look up. See you on the other side, I hope. Wind held them. I have done as you asked. Now where is my wisdom? Give it a moment to brew. There. An elixir to ready your spirit. How will this bring me the meat? It will open your mind to the secrets of the world. While we wait, let us speak of Asgard. How fared your defenses after the last attack? We, uh, we have been weakened. By treachery. Without time to rebuild, we... We may not withstand another attack. Wait. I... I did not mean to say that. I feel strange. Hexclaw has a way of untying the tongue. <laughs> now, 
You have said you want the mead, but how badly? How much would you sacrifice to be freed of fate's shackles? Would you give your tongue, your hand, your sight? I would. I would give all that and more. I would like to see that. Loki, what trickery is this? I have sapped your strength, Javi. And I will take your life if your answers displease me. Did you think I would not come for you? After what you did to my son? Our son. Fenrir. A name I think you have heard before. Yes. In the final reckoning, the world Fenrir will be my doom. Now you know. Now you can no longer deceive. Tell me, what will you do with him? I want to kill him. But I cannot. I swore an oath to you, Loki, and I will not break it. I will not take his life. Fenrir will be imprisoned until the day of prophecy, when we will meet upon the field of battle, as we are fated to. Then we will bind you until that day, as you mean to bind our son. An eye for an eye. I see she let you live. You must have done something right. <laughs> let me help you down from there. Uh, 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 no, no! Wait! 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 No! You could have let me down gently. That would presume I cared for your comfort. Then why release me at all? For the same reason you are in Jotunheim. You seek the mead, and I can help you get it. I assume there is a price. I want a small sample for myself. The rest is yours. Fair? Do I have a choice? Of course you do not. The mead is kept by Sutungr and his daughter Gunlother in the vault at their home in Utgardr. The vault is opened only on occasion of a great feast, when Sutungr shares the bounty of his cellar. And it would be a poor host who did not throw a feast for a distinguished visitor, say the High One of Asgard. You are not as ox-witted as I feared. I must bring a mighty gift to Suttunger, if I am to earn my welcome. That idiot drunkard Agir recently lost his cauldron to Suttunger in a wager, but it disappeared on the way to Utgardr. Suttunger would be grateful indeed if I return that cauldron to him. Seek the tree that wears the scars of the world serpent scales. The cauldron would have passed by there. You might also bring a gift for Gunlother. There are treasures that would flatter her in Thrymmer's house by the lake near Utgardr. I will bear that in mind. When you have the mead, join me at the Well of Mimir. There I will show you how to escape your doom at Ragnarok. Should I search for the cauldron now, or head for Thrymir's hall?
Okay guys, that'll be it for today's episode. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you hit that like button. It really helps out my channel a lot and shows me how much you appreciate the product I'm putting together for you. Please leave a comment below and let me know what you guys think of the episodes so far and what you might want to see or if you want me to highlight something you haven't seen so far. Really would appreciate to hear from you. Make sure you hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already and hit that notification bell so you'll be notified when I do other episodes of Assassin's Creed Valhalla and other things I do. Check out the description below if you want to see some of the other games I put together for you. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Stay safe out there and we will see you on the next Dark Comet adventure.